And down to the birds. I did. I'll come up to the birds. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the wiggly toes. Good? Yeah, good. Well, Razor, I guess, um, just first of all, we're talking about Whitelock. What do you make of this morning's announcement that this is his last for the Crusaders? Well, Sam's a special man, isn't he? Look, his uh, the stats um, tell a real story about him, but probably more importantly about him himself as a, as a man. Once you get to know him, how driven he is, how consistent he is, um, how much he cares about this team. Uh, I'm full of respect for him. You know, he gets to play with his bro, South of France, and it's a great, it's a great opportunity to finish. Oh, you never say finish with a white lock until he's really finished, but um, to go and enjoy it, you know, the fruits of rugby, to give himself the opportunity, and, you know, the, the tender age that he is, that he can and go and in some Euro and play some great footy over there and you know the doors doors always open to come back. The, the stats and I guess the cap speak for themselves mm. but how integral has he been to the success of the Crusaders? Uh, his leadership style is just incredible, his ability to read the room, understand what's required. At that moment he's been through so much, he's been under some great leaders but he's got his style, and the way he just commands, like I call him a general commander, he just general commands on and off the field, there's so much for us off off the field, and Scott Brett looks after a lot of the on-field stuff, uh, but it's a pleasure to say the right thing at the right time, and, and get around all, all different players, and coaches, and, and even our his staff, you know, from Colin, he's, He's got, always got a, a little bit of a gem, but also time for people. Is there a moment in his career here that stands out for you? Oh, let's come back to you on that one. There's a few. <laughs> there is a few. We'll come yeah. back to it. Just a slight yeah. change of topic. But do you have any update on the injuries around Cullen and David Hardy? Yeah, both are out for a super campaign. Uh, unfortunately, really disappointed for them. You know, they're such big contributors to our team and really important parts of it. So, look, uh, you know, one's a hamstring, so that'll be weeks, you know, six to eight weeks for, for Dave. Uh, hopefully, he can push back further and uh, Cullen's scans will come back today, I think, just to confirm if, you know, if he needs anything surgical or he can just. Um, rehab out of a, a, a dislocated kneecap. Both were heartbreaking, but Cullen in particular has had yeah. a horrific run. How how hard has that been, I guess, uh, uh, for you guys, wrapping support? Yeah. Of, it's just blow after blow. Yeah, we've got the hunt club, with, um, loose forwards. You know, we, we're a tight group, uh, and you know we're really disappointed for him. Look, he plays on the edge with his body, and um, he's worked so hard after the shoulder operations to get himself into you know a test match footballing body and he got there and you know you drop a knee on the ground and that happens it's just a one of those situations so it, it, it hurts you know you hurt with them and but he's mentally tough he's, he's dealt with it he's got a lot of processes to to make sure that he'll he'll bounce back from it and but it's still it's still tough you know that period you, you, you do a little bit of grieving because you're going to miss opportunities and, and then you get on with it so he's at that stage now. Just lastly for me for now, um, you say harvey has gone for super, that means he'll be coming back when the All Blacks come together. Is there, is the medical team sort of confident he can bounce back in time for the World Cup or is it a way Oh to look yeah, I'm sure he can for the World Cup with the hamstring, but uh, yeah, like I said it's a matter of weeks. Yeah. With John Arthur, how impressive was it for him to I guess, come in and just slot in as seamlessly as he did? Oh look, he's the final medical practice, really, isn't he? Our coach, our medical group, you know, he's day and a half and you're playing footy, you're starting getting to half time and you know, like if you've got another couple of scrums in you and he said, yeah, probably get one too many, but oh look, that's a great story in that regard. Just shows um, the wise old fox got around the field, didn't he? he knew, knew what to do, his preparation. He's got some great banter, man, his humour's still there uh, and he's just the true essence of footy just comes along and, and plays. You know, like he's still here in Austin early and getting on the computers and doing what he wants to do and he's a handy barista so yeah, he's made himself at home. How sore was he earlier in the week? 
Oh yeah, look, he came in, he did all his, you know, he was out at the, uh, the hot pools at Brighton there and with all the rest of the boys and like, how good's this bro, you know, like he's just such a character and like I said, a good pro, look, he's not doing PBs on speed or anything, but you can hold a scum up, so. So is he available for the playoffs? Are there any rules around no. how many games a player has to play or what's No, he's not eligible, so this is the last game for us this week. Yeah. Is that like, even if you lost another body though, would you then become eligible or not even then? No, so there's no, no pretty clear rules. There's yeah. no dispensation or anything? They can... No dispensation. Oh look, we'll keep asking, but currently no. Uh, look, there's a, you know, there's a lot of, there's obligation for us to, to put a team out that's safe and guys are ready and we're working in the back, background to make sure that essentially the rule is somebody that's played in New Zealand before the 1st of April is eligible to to play for finals, uh, and John definitely wasn't that. Um, so look, you, 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 we're looking at all options at the moment. Oli Yeager must be close, that was an affection, wasn't it? Affection, you know, after he got that cut, and uh, he, he, he's, you know, next week is um, a positive for us and him. The thought process, uh, the Scott, obviously no, he's still got moving Scott, for such was that a, like, he's a bit of a no-brainer with Cullen now? Yeah, with Cullen and Look, he's played a lot of six scooter and I'm more than happy to play there when we asked him, so it gives us some really good options here. Well, I asked Tom before about tomorrow night. Uh, how, will, yeah, how will tomorrow night, what happens on Saturday? Oh, we'll just see how that game plays out and, you know, we know we're pretty clear what, what's required on, on Saturday, but our main focus is performing at the highest level, so, oh, sorry, performing at the highest level we can. You hinted at it on Saturday, Razor, but Louis Chapman gets an opportunity after a lot of training with with the team. Are you not expecting him to just like old guys, next man up mentality? Yeah, yeah. Look, he he's trained for a couple of years. He's been awesome, you know, awesome pro. It's a, it's a good story, you know. Like he could have um, thrown it, gone to MLR, could have gone and played a different competition, but he wanted to be a, a Super Rugby player and, and be a Crusader. He's a local boy and. And this is his opportunity, and so like he's ready. And just on on Willie, then is he still sort of looking at finals one, or still a bit of bit of rehab work to do? Yeah, look, he, he's out with us on the field, and he's tracking well. So next week's our target. Did he win the Bronco this year? He's out there, isn't he? Um, oh, it was a while ago. He was up there. With yeah. with just with Louis, um, like I guess knowing that yeah, under twenties was coming up. For Noah, I guess was that something you'd always had yeah. to keep in the, the back of your mind to come this time of the season? Yeah, it was the planning part of it, you know, especially with Willie getting injured in the chest in the warm up. Uh, we thought, how long is that going to be? And, and, and with Noah heading off to the 20s and the balance of making sure Louis, Louis was still here and keep him in the fold, and, and this is the game for him. Is Willie looking like available for next yeah. week? Yeah, that's what we're just saying. He's tracking well, you know, he gets through another week of training, he's potentially available. Bit of excitement too on, on Tuesday, Razor, when there's a few clips going around of Ryan Crotty yeah. in, in Crusaders gear. Uh, how nice is it, I guess, it's first and foremost to have him be able to call him to, to bring in that expertise while you've got obviously Dave uh, in the medical ward? Yeah, look, again, he, he's not available for finals yeah. and it was volunteering. He came in, just wanted to be around his brothers, really, to run around and get on social media. <laughs> but uh, no, he was, um, he was great to have him, just a couple of wise words and just a it's been four years, you know, he just got so quickly, you just didn't realise how far, how, how long he'd been away for, and he came back in and he's still in good nick, so it was great to have him here. How good is it to having that contact book where yeah. you can just call on players, it's particularly at this point of the season, guys like that who have been through finals campaigns, etc.? That's right, you know, uh, you know, we dealt with Tim Bateman a few years ago, and just all those guys had their own little put, and it's just great for them to keep connecting to the, to the club and being a part of it, and... You know, he's still physically able and, and keen, so he's got a great rugby mind, so yeah, it's a good good addition for the week. Could he play Super next year if he wanted to, you reckon? We have to ask him. <laughs> you still got it, though? Ah, <laughs> oh, we won a final in Japan, so yeah, why not? Have you got a moment of Sam? Pardon? Have you got a mo favourite moment of Sam? Oh, sorry, no, nothing just actually <laughs> come to mind, I think. Yeah, what was it? Have you got a moment? Have we got a moment just to remind me? A 60 metre try. Yeah, Orange 60 metre try was, uh, for me. It's quite remarkable. Was it, was I, I don't think I was coaching it. Oh, yeah. Maybe not, yeah. Against the, uh, against the yeah, I was going to say that. Hands of God, we call that. <laughs> <laughs> and he just came in and he just... <clears throat> that was a wee moment. Uh, I remember the ref, Yako. The, the next week was Yako, the ref, and he goes, uh, 
Sam, I'm, uh, I would have penalised you for that day. <laughs> so yeah, he got away with one there, but um, there's some modest touch he's got there.